boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be talking about steady gold farms. I get asked on a daily basis what my top tier um, steady gold farms are. So I decided to make a video on it and tell you guys like they always change man. Like they always change. Let's say we farm copper ore right. Copper ore is really good. Everyone is doing it so the gold per hour goes down. And then after a couple of months, sometimes weeks, nobody else is farming it because the gold per hour is just not good enough. So uh, therefore, but the demand is still around, right? So uh, therefore, the gold per hour is good again. So it's always changing, man. But the really, really, and I'm talking about extremely good steady gold farms right now. I've got three in particular that I want to drag out. And most of you guys, especially those who watch my live streams, they know these farms already because I do them all the time, man. It makes me so much gold. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you guys uh, basically what it is and do some quick information about it, right? So the first one is going to be uh, Volatile Water. You guys can, by the way, uh, find all of these farms, like the video on the guides, how to do it, down in the description, click him. Like you guys will definitely be able to find him. But Volatile Water is a material used to make like true gold for vial of sands and so on. You can farm it solo in Twilight Highlands, killing these elementals so you guys can see. But it's not going to give you that many Volatile Water per hour if you do it solo. However, if you can get a five-man group and farm these, you can get, the average used to be like 700 volta water, but Blizzard nerfed it somehow, so now you average like 500 volta waters. But the average price on these are closing in on 100 gold. And you're going to be using Potion of Treasure Finding, so you will also get volta fire, earth, life, purite ore, raw gold, green items, ember silk ore. Like, it's really, really sick. We usually get between like 70 to 90,000 gold per hour while running this. So definitely worth checking out, man, if you haven't done it already or if you've forgotten about it or yeah, just go ahead and do it. So uh, the next one is going to be uh, Primal Fire. Primal Fire is a material used to make the illusion tombs and also used for a big amount of transmog items like a lot of cool uh, items such as like Spellfire Robe. You needed to make Primal Might, which is required to craft a shit ton of different transmog. And it's really easy to farm. You can farm it in uh, Throne of Kill Jaden. But uh, you can do it solo. But then again, these steady gold farms are best in a group. And I'm going to tell you guys how to find groups. Because there's a lot of people struggling to find groups. But uh, anyways, if you do this in a 5-man group and you spread it out nicely, you can easily get 100 Primal Fire average every single hour. And I've seen these go for like two and a half thousand each. It's not normal, man. The average price is around 500 gold each, which basically means 50,000 gold per hour. But there is some jackpot items that I like to call them in this farm. Like you can get these really cool uh, world drop items. There's transmog like Blade of Wizardry. You can get plans and patterns such as the Felsty Longblade worth hundreds of thousands of gold. So there's definitely a lot of potential in this farm. And... The last one is a video that I featured now recently and the reason why I want to bring it up again is because I think it's super good. Like, I mean, it's similar to Volatile Water, we're talking about Volatile Fire, which can also be farmed in Twilight Highlands, but it's like up north, you just run around, you kill a bunch of these fire elementals. They're going to give you mainly volatile fire, but once again, you're going to be using Poach of Treasure Finding. So you're also going to get a lot of different volatiles and all of that ore and raw gold and so on. Volatile fire has increased a lot in price because you need it just as much as volatile water, right? But it's uh, it's harder to get now. Well, it, people thought it was harder to get. In the old days, people just fished them. They went to uh, these lava fountain thingies, I have no fucking clue. And they fished them, they server hopped, they fished even more, even I did that. And it used to work out pretty damn well. But now they nerfed server hop and the prices on the volatile fire is close to uh, volatile water on most realms. It's like slightly underneath. On some of the bigger realms like uh, Arch and Dawn, they're actually higher than volatile water because volatile water is being farmed. Volatile fire is not really being farmed. It's something that you get additionally while farming water. So uh, we managed to get like an, at least 50,000 gold steady. You guys have to keep in mind that every single number that I'm throwing out is steady gold. This is materials and uh, you can easily say that materials is steady gold because it sells really fast in the auction hours unless you play on a shitty realm with almost no people. So yeah, that is basically my top three steady gold farms and I would 
definitely recommend every single one of you to check them out. The Volatile Fire one is also recommended to be in a five-man group. And if you guys are struggling to make five-man groups, not only can you just post your battle tag underneath, but remember to uh, to type if you're Alliance or Horde, EU or US. But another great way to do it is to uh, go on Discord and jo join the WoW Economy Discord server because there's a lot of people willing to farm gold, like 24 hours a day, man. There's a lot of eager people just sitting there waiting for people to farm with. So definitely use the WoW Economy Discord app. If you don't have it, you can always just post your battle tag down in the comment section. And I know for a fact that a lot of people will add you and you guys can do these farms. Anyways, that was it for this uh, extra video, I guess. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.